Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, I'm gonna do another infinity pour. So this is the one that has dried. So this was pinks and purples. And I'm really, really happy with these. So, I want to do another one. I'm gonna use pinks, blues, black, white and grey. So my mixtures will be, just get my bit of paper. So the four colors and the silver, I've got 22 grams of paint, 38 grams of Floetrol, and 15 grams of water. The black and the white, I've done half mixes. So they're only 11 grams of paint, 19 grams of Floetrol and seven, not seven and a half, but about seven grams of water. So that's it. Just paint, Floetrol, water. Um, I made them last night. I've let them settle. I just gave them a little gentle stir tonight just to make sure that they'll blend in. So, um, and I'm going to do it a dirty pour way. So we're just... <clears throat> just going to kick it off. So I'm just going to put little bits in at a time. So a bit of the light pink. <clears throat> and I got myself a couple more trays, um, lid trays that I pour onto. Because they just weren't drying fast enough. And I had trays with dry paint everywhere. And I mean, wet paint in them still. And it was... A little bit annoying me so I decided to get a couple more to pour onto so I am just pouring it in at a decent height so it falls into the mix just randomly pouring bits in We'll do a bit of black. So I don't put a lot of black and a lot of white in them. I don't want either. white probably isn't so bad, but I didn't want I don't want too much black because it will take over. And it doesn't matter if they mix and make a little bit of grey. That's the fun of doing these type of pores. You want it a little bit blended maybe a tad more black um. So these should be quite interesting. And with these, the more that you do do them, the better you get at the actual pouring, the um, the pouring part of it. Because it, it does take a little bit to get your coordination going. Some people can do it a little bit easier than others. Oh, that was... Oh, I can be so clumsy, but again, that's not the end of the world. <laughs> I love it how when I do these things, I happen to happen to be on camera so everyone can have a good laugh, but I have a good laugh too. As they say, there's no point crying over spilt milk or anything. Put a tad more white in. And I may leave it as that. That was quite funny. 
put that aside and then we just do the blues so well, at the beginning I always do less as at the at the bottom because you don't want because sometimes the first color I pour in becomes a dominant color and so this just pour them in randomly as you like it really doesn't matter they get quite mixed in when you do it This is all about having fun. And that might be the end of the white. So my brain's just thinking, what colour do I pour in next? Okay. So the infinity pours aren't exactly hard to do. The hardest part is really just learning the coordination, but as you know, I always do that little test run before I go where I practice in midair. Um, I find it's the best way to, to do it. going to wipe that because I use the black. So I'm actually going to go silver last with this one. So these have really, these have become a real favourite of mine. I like the way that they turn out. They're easy to do and you're not actually using a lot of paint compared to some other pores. So like when you do the, like each, each of the main colors was only 22 grams of actual paint, which is really pretty good when you think about it. Um, this is a 16 by 12 canvas. So it's not a lot of paint. Then you've got the flow troll and the water added. So I think it works out quite good um, pour to do without using too much light. So if you've only got small amounts of paints or you're using um, expensive ones, <clears throat> I think it actually is quite good. Ooh. Just going to get myself an extra couple of paper towels, just in case I make another spillage. Get a couple of gloves ready. I might put my gloves on. These gloves are okay because they're quite tight. I've got good control of my hands with them. Um, if you've got ones that are a bit loose, I would do the pour and then quickly chuck your gloves on. I like having gloves that are quite conforming to my hands. I feel like I've got more control. So these cups are looking super awesome. I'm just gonna make sure it's recording before I go any further. 
Yep, that count is still going up. At least if it didn't record, then I could start it before I actually do the main pouring part. So, get my hands and brain working together. Now pick up the cups and start doing the same thing. Can't tell if more paint's coming out or not. Whoops. I got a little drop fell off there. That's okay. So we're just gonna move it around. So it looks like it's a little bit more pink is showing up, but that's okay. So let's go over a corner. Come back. I'm going to go over this corner and try not to lose too much of that blue. So I'm losing a little bit of blue on this one. I'm going to lose this blue over here too. I'm going to get rid of that drop. There we go. So that little drop that fell off, I just poured him away. Now, I've still got some silver in here, and that's coming through. So now I'm just pouring the paint back to the middle. And then you look at it and you go, which area could you change? I might go a little bit further this way. And then pull it back a bit. Maybe go sideways. I don't want that to be overly pink. So one thing I like about these is the, the colours in the middle where the stripes overlapped kind of look a little bit lightning-like. They kind of get that like lightning effect to them. All right, corner's done. So most of the corners get done, except for the bottom part of the corner. Otherwise you do pour off way too much paint when you do that. So I am actually going to try one of these one day and try to incorporate it with a pearl colour to see if I can get pearls as well. Now can you see here where my thumb is? I'm getting kind of cells come up, coming up there, they've come up there and they come up here. The longer you leave this, you will start to notice you will get more effects show up. So, usually they show up within the first few minutes. So I'm actually even getting them coming up through here in the blues. But this has actually become a lot more pink than it has blue. I don't mind. That is the fun part of acrylic pouring you can use uh, equal amounts of paints in the cups and it will come out a different way depending on how it went and how you tilt so when I tilted there's well there seemed to be blue but the blue was on the edges and that ended up getting tilted over so but that's that's how it is but really this is one thing I do like when I got mostly pink but I got a blue corner so it just gives that little corner interest. And this corner over here, it's blue, but I've got a couple of pink little cells or pearls coming through. Probably more cells. I am getting more effects coming up through here, where the colours are just kind of dividing a little bit and making cells. And I've got lightning effects coming through here. Not as Probably not as many as I... I'd love it if it had a little bit more, but that's cool. So, as you leave it, you will get more. So, I am going to give it a quick little torch and see if this gives me any paint reactions or not. But I like this. I have to say, 
nearly all of my infinity pours I'm really really enjoying um, and it's hard for you to see on camera but through here there down here and um, bits through here they are silver so they will show up more as it dries I do find the silver doesn't come out because it mixes with the colors like a super super metallic but you can see it's a silver color so that that still is what I like now well, this is the new gas bottle which has made my gas torch a little bit flame happy as you can tell it's when I shake the bottle from side to side it seems to happen I do that because I don't want to leave it on the one spot for too long but it can tend to sometimes be a little bit flame happy and it's a bit noisier too so so I don't really think this is doing a lot except for popping a few bubbles so we'll leave it it's only got flow troll water and paint so there's not going to be a lot of reactions from the heat um, as it pops bubbles sometimes you get little what I call bubble cells show up so I have got a few bubble cells that come up through here which are silvery so the silver must have been underneath but yeah so if you're not happy with a certain composition of it you can pour it off to a certain direction. I want to keep these lightning strike parts near the middle. They're not exactly centered. I don't always want everything to be exactly in the middle. Um, it's the same with photography. When I photograph my flowers, I don't put my flowers always directly in the middle. I off center them just a tad. Um, for some reason, it actually draws your attention a little bit more than having it as a centralized um, middle, if, if you to, to call it that. So by having this just slightly off to the side, but still in the middle area, looks good. I could pour off more pink, but I, I don't mind the pink. Um, the pink's actually got really nice tones in it. You can see the darker ones, the lighter ones, bits of white coming through it. You've got blue lightning going through it, black and white colours and silver. Um, over here, you've got streaks. You've got blues down here. It's... They're fun because they're interesting. So even though I really did the same type of technique, that there does look different to that there. And that's all that it's all about. So, but this is different. It comes out blue in the camera, but this is purple and this is blue. So we've got dark blue here and we've got turquoise coming up through here with the dark blue rings around it. And the blues have mixed together to kind of give us different tones between turquoise and blue. Um, which is pretty cool. So what... Um, I didn't tell you the colours. So, this was... Eraldo di Polo, magenta, and pinky. So magenta and pinky were the, were the two pink side. And the blues were um, cool blue and turquoise. So cool blue and turquoise, and then just black, white, silver. Um, they don't have any certain names or anything. They're just black, white, and silver. So, ta-da! That's my artwork for tonight. Hopefully that wasn't too long a video. Let me pause it. Here we go, 19 and a half minutes. Time flies when you're having fun. So these colors are slightly a bit lighter in the camera to what they are in real life. They're a little bit more darker, especially the pink. Um, the blues are pretty close to the right colors. But we're going to come down and have a look. So this is what I call like the lightning effects where you get the 
the streaks that come through kind of look a little bit lightning like um, focus this here is where the silver is coming through into it so that is a silvery color got more like lightning strikes over here you've got cells coming up see you got the dark magenta cells more magenta in the perp and the blues got little specks and I call things effects because they really are effects of, of all different sorts so in this you've got what I would call like cells come up you've got specks you've got these lightning strikes you've got blends of color um, so you really do have a really good assortment of different effects come through it which makes it magnificent like look at that magenta popping through in cell form in the other colors like how could you not love that so this is the full artwork and it's beautiful love it so thank you so much for watching share like subscribe if you haven't already um leave comments Tell me what you think and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you tomorrow for another pour. So enjoy your evening and I'll see you then. Bye.